I'm playing around with methods to cut the grooves in the barrel and I had a brief conversation with a viewer who suggested a circular saw blade cut up with using the carbide teeth and I wasn't ready to do that because of the thickness of the circular saw blade and I wasn't sure if I could get the right size tooth so I went to Home Depot um, casting around it's amazing how when you do that something just kind of jumps out and gets your attention I found this saw blade a Diablo uh, made by a, a Swiss company it was silly Swiss that's so kind of Spanish for devil but anyway this has got little carbide teeth here I'll show you So that's kind of the answer to what I'm looking for. This is a 4 inch extreme metal cutting saw blade with all these little carbide teeth in here. I can just imagine little blonde haired blue eyed Swiss children brazing all these teeth on in their factory down in the valley. Anyway that's what I'm going to use. This thing here I'm going to try another one of these uh, see if I can cut a car in half. It looks like it would be aggressive enough to do that but I'm going to cut a thin slice off to mount into actually be that side there into the top part and then use the shim base in the bottom to hold it all together well that worked really slick just that little stone here on my uh, Dremel tool and I cut that piece off that Diablo and that fits into that slot there and I can squeeze it down with the pliers but it'll flush fit against the bottom of that uh, notch and stands up about maybe two thousandths of an inch and I've needed to determine how many teeth I want on here I think I'll be just two on or so and then file or grind the rest of them off the little carbide cutter is complete. I've left two teeth intact and that will do the cutting of the grooves in the barrel. And the, the spacer piece to adjust the cutting has been rounded off on both, both ends so that doesn't get caught, especially in the chambered part of the barrel where I have a bit of a ridge there. The barrel's got the indexing nut in place ready to cut the, the six grooves. Now one of the problems I've had with all the barrels is the difficulty in drawing the cutter up through the barrel, even cutting small amounts at a time. So I have an idea to use a threaded rod so I can turn some rotational motion into a linear motion. And in order to do that I'm going to need some sort of thrust bearing. And that's what I'm working on right now. I want to power this with my, with my electric drill. So are you wondering what I'm doing with the bicycle? An old bicycle. This happens to be one of my sons that uh, is no longer useful. It kind of seized up. Well, here's one of my favorite tools. And I'm going to remove an important part of this bicycle for the rifling tool. That's the part that I want. At this point I have the, the bottom bracket of the bicycle cut off and working away at the weldments, the tubes that were welded onto it. And you can see why this was a no longer functional bicycle. It, the bearings are dry, a little rusty. This will clean up okay for my purposes. My homemade thrust bearing is complete. I took the fixed cup from the bottom bracket and welded it to the top of the shaft that has the program twist rate on it. So I'm going to grease these before I put it together finally. So that goes there. And 
this happens to be a opposite thread. So the idea is that this will turn freely with the with the threaded rod to retract the the twist rod up. So just each one can turn at its own speed and it uh, works pretty smooth. I've cleaned and painted all the parts. They've been hanging around a couple of years and we're getting a little, little rusty. So it looks a lot better now. I'm going to reassemble this. One of the nice things about this totally adjustable system is that you can do uh, almost any length. It goes from, I've been doing four and five and six inch lengths uh, playing around. With longer threaded rods you could do a rifle barrel, no issue. This particular twist rate or rod, uh, the program twist rod, is uh, good for uh, roughly 10 inches. Uh, I will only, only need a portion of that for the barrel that I'm doing now. But it's completely modular. Uh, I can upgrade this to any length I want. And now on to rifling. <laughs> 